In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can adjust and export color modes in Adobe InDesign. So InDesign has something that is called a color intent, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. If I select a preset, for example, a print preset, I'm going to pick a letter, I'm going to change it to inches, and then I click create. Here you can see, and if you don't have that window available, you can go to window and then choose color. And here you click color or you press F6. In the color window, you can see that my working mode here, my color intent for this is CMYK because I chose print. If I make a new file, a new document, and I'm going to choose a web preset here, maybe a letter, I uh, click create, you can now see immediately that the color mode has changed to RGB because I chose a web preset, print CMYK, web RGB. Now, what you can do is go to edit and you can choose color settings to see the color mode quickly. And you can choose convert to profile to convert. And this thing basically works with a source destination. So basically what that means is that if I choose to use this convert to profile option, that anything with this RGB profile will be converted to the RGB profile I choose. And the same for the CMYK, anything with this CMYK profile will be converted to the CMYK profile I choose here. Now, if you have a document with, let's say, 20 pictures or whatever, you do not want to adjust all those pictures in, let's say, Photoshop or check which color profile they have so you can adjust the source destination accordingly. What you can do then, uh, you can go to Adobe PDF presets and let's click the high quality. And then uh, here, if you press save, you get another window where you have options to choose from. Then here in the output option, you have the possibility to choose a color conversion. And the color conversion basically takes everything in the document and makes a PDF with a specific color mode converting everything in your document. And you can choose convert to destination. And here again, you can choose what a destination has to be. So you can choose web coded, or you can choose CMYK and RGB, all those things. Let's say you choose CMYK web coded document or working, whatever you want to change it to. And then if you then click export, your entire document, all the imagery, all your pictures, everything in the document is exported to your chosen output. So that's an, uh, a way to tackle multiple images inside of Adobe InDesign. Now keep in mind, Adobe InDesign isn't exactly the thing to use uh, to change images and all that. You can better use Photoshop to do that, but you can do so in Adobe InDesign if you want to. And this is the way how you can do it. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button. If you did, press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.